In this first video, we're going to create a floor plan using basic out-of-the-box functionality in Rhino 7. I'm using my sample house project's upper floor plan as the example. Even without any special plugins or add-ons, setting up the basic floor plan only takes minutes. And for many, that's all you'll need. So I cover that in this first video. In the second video in this playlist, we'll create 2D line work using the make 2D command. I'll show you a streamlined method of performing this step. In between the second and third videos, I'll annotate the plan. That way, we'll have something close to a final work result, which we can discuss in the third video. We'll make our clipping planes first. Before I do that, though, I'm going to turn off some layers just to make things easier. I have my site layers turned off. And I'm going to turn off all my clipping planes for like elevations and sections, any vertical clipping planes. While I'm at it, I'll just switch my layer. I already have one for that upper floor plan clip, clipping planes. draw the first clipping plane. I'll move it just a little bit so it's kind of in a nicer place. I accidentally copied it. I've been doing that a lot lately. Anyways, I'll drag it up. Get it somewhere where it looks good. Make sure I get that lowest window in there. Resize it just a little bit. I'm going to copy it down. So this will be actu our actual plans cut plane. But we need to cut the project projection as well, so we actually need two clipping planes per plan, usually. So I'll do Alt and Copy. Now I'll drag it down. I think what's going to dictate how far I drag this down is that stair landing. I want it to... I think I want to see at least three stairs. So to get this clipping plane flipped, if you flip direction, it's going to flip it this way as well. So I'll undo that. So instead what I do is I just get one of the these two rotation grips and do a 180. So looking at those stairs, I want to get the, yeah, I want the landing and at least a few steps below the landing. So I'm going to select this down just a little bit more. Two steps. Let's see. Negative three. Wrong way. There we go. Okay, that's where I want it. Now this step is kind of optional. Since we made new clipping planes, there they shouldn't be clipping anything we don't want them to. But if you ever copy a clipping plane that already exists, it might have some other views clipped. So it's a good idea just to check and make sure none of these are checked when you don't want them to be. But um, we don't really need to do this since we created brand new um, clipping planes. Okay, this next step is optional. You only really need to do it if you're doing the 2D line work as well. But even then you can get away without doing it, but it does make it easier. So I'm actually gonna set the C plane to my upper clip clipping plane. I'm going to use the three point option. I'm then going to save the C plane. I'm going to name it after the sheet number I'm going to use. I'm going to prefix it with the sheet number I'm going to use for this plan. Click OK. I should have mentioned that if you don't have this um, tab right here, you can get it in these options, or you can just type name C plane if you just prefer to hide that dialog. Next, we'll set our view to a top view. I can do that by just typing plan, or if you can find this icon right here, or just use this. And now we're just going to save a view. Similar to the C planes, if you don't see this, you can just turn it on here. If you don't want to have this open, just type named view and that dialog will come up. Anyways, we're going to save this. As you create more views, um, you'll want to name them something that will allow you to find it easy later on. 
In a project like this, I'd probably have over 20 views, over 20 named seaplanes. So that's just something to keep in mind. But just on a small project, it probably wouldn't matter so much what you name these. One more thing to note is that, at least in my case, since I created that name seaplane, that seaplane will be restored when you activate this um, named view. Okay, next we'll create our layout. I already have an empty layout ready. I normally use the Layouts tab if I want to, for instance, copy a layout. If you don't have that, again, it's in, in here. Another way to create a layout is um, right-click somewhere on one of these tabs and create or click New Layout. And these are basically my settings. I have the 24 by 36 inch sheet landscape. I'm going to create two detail views. Using the detail command, add. I don't care about the size just yet. And the second one is just for demonstrating a few things, so don't worry too much about it. I'm going to go to change layer. I'm going to change them to my, I have two viewport layers. These will be shaded viewport layers. We'll use the vector viewport layer that I've created later if we if you stick around and for when I create the 2D overlay for a viewport. Anyways, I'll go into this one. I'll go into our named view, double click. I'll go in here. I'll set the scale. I'll lock the viewport. I'm going to set my display mode. I'll set it to my shaded view for now. And just so they're not in the way, I'm going to go into the layers. Try to find my clipping plane layers. Make sure those are turned off. They won't print, but uh, it's nice to have a cleaner view to look at without all the clipping plane lines in the way. Now I'll just resize this. For this view, I'm just going to go to Perspective, and zoom in, set the display mode. So when I create this thing, you don't you don't really need to follow along. This is just to demonstrate a something, which I'm going to show you in just a second. I'll lock it just to make that easier. And I'm going to turn my site layers back on. Okay, I'll go in here. I'm going to select this. I'm going to enable it in that view. I'm going to go to the options for that detail. You can see here, this is where it controls that view up there. And control both views from here. So that's kind of why you want to pick a good name for your um, your saved views. See if I can grab the lower one as well. See when I turn that one off you can see the site. Okay so anyways if you just wanted the basic plan tutorial we're pretty much finished. This one's set to scale. It's locked. If you wanted, you can actually start um, annotating it in your layout. But for those that want to stick around, we're going to make some uh, 2D line work that we're going to overlay on top of this.